All right, this is our last topic on kinetic energy. We ran over this in class, but I still wanted to throw a couple up online for people to review. We have a test on Tuesday and then a, again at the end of the unit, so why not? This is topic six. So work was the first three, kinetic energy are the next three. This can be on page 22. This is very short. It's the relationship between kinetic energy and work. Now in topic one, or sorry, in topic four, we learn this. Uh, kinetic energy is related to work. That means if you want to change kinetic energy, you have to do work. If you want to speed something up, then you're going to have to do work while you're pedaling on your bicycle. Or if you want to slow something down, you've got to apply a force over distance. You've got to do work to stop. So the engine does work to increase the energy of the car. That much we know. So I might ask you, well, how much work is done in this example? Now, we remember that work equals... Ooh, bouncy uh, force times distance but we don't know force and we don't know distance but if we know how much kinetic energy changes then we can solve for work so let's grab a different color uh, let's see kinetic energy here equals 4 times 2 squared over 2 equals 4 times 4 over 2 equals 8 over 2 equals 4 joules so that's our starting kinetic energy. And let's finish up. Um, mass is 4 times 3 squared over 2. 4 times 9 over 2. 36 over 2. Half 36. 18 joules. Okay. Now the question is, how much should kinetic energy change? What's the difference between the two? Well, I know the difference is 16 joules. And is that positive or negative? Well, it's sped up, so I know that the answer was a positive 16 joules of work. The engine was doing force in the same direction of motion. So the change is positive. We went from 4, oh, sorry, this should be 14, 4 to 18 joules. So the difference, the change in kinetic energy is 14 joules. So work equals 14 joules. All right, uh, let's try another one. Uh, let's take a big truck. And we'll give it the nice 1,000 kilograms, 20 meters per second. Apply the brakes until it comes to a stop. So same idea. How much work was done? Well, what's our difference? We started at 20 meters per second. We came to a stop. So I know already this is going to be negative work because the force by the brakes is in the opposite direction. We have 1,000 times 20 over 2 squared equals 1,000 times 400. Let me check that. Yep, 400 divided by 2. 4, 000, 400 times 1,000 divided by 2 equals 200,000 joules. And this is our start. What do we end with? What's our final? Well, it's 0 because there's no velocity. So that was easy. So the amount of how much did kinetic energy change? Negative 200,000 joules. So that means that work was a negative 200,000 joules. Score. All right. On the end of uh, there are some more problems added that you can review on the kinetic energy page.